Hello everyone, it's Valakar. Welcome back to Material Energy 5, episode 15? Yeah, I think it's 15. Um, so, I said I was going to come back down here. I did come back down here. I've been doing some farming. I set up an area around these zombies, blocked them all off, lit up the rest of this room. I put these cabinets down here so I could store some stuff temporarily if need be. And then I brought down the death generator that I've been feeding zombie flesh into. The chemical dissolver, chemical combiner, and a, I built a sawmill. So, pretty much I just sit down here, fight all these zombies. Real easy to do. Especially considering they can't get through this, I can hit through the hole. Kill everything I can. Uh, enough to make my arm tired, though. So much easier doing this on the PC, so I don't have to actually swing my arm. But uh, got them all dead. Uh, another one spawns right as I'm about to jump in here. So I had to make the walls to this area two or three high, because these zombies can jump a two block high wall for some reason okay so um got some drops from um so I opened up the sawmill I can throw the leather in there even if it's damaged I run all this leather armor through the machine and I pretty much get half of what would be used to make the armor so like the pants take seven so I should get three or four from it I got three, so I got 28 out of what I've been doing. I've been saving the chisels and repairing them, the chemical dissolver, and throwing iron oxide in it, running it through, then coming over here and throwing the iron oxide in here to either make iron ingots or pulverized iron. If I make the pulverized iron, I run it through, get gold, silver, nickel, or tin. I throw zombie flesh up here to what I haven't used to make food. So I've been down here for a while doing this. Um, doing that, I've improved my sword. A bit more the sword actually has reinforced two on it now so it has 40 percent reinforcement so it takes less durability damage pretty much 40 percent less so it'll last a little bit longer and then all this monster jerky i've just been eating i've been down here long enough that I completely filled this drawer that I brought down. The chest that's over here, I completely filled up with oxygen. And I've been throwing stuff in the chest over here, slowly filling that up with oxygen. I have so much oxygen, I don't know what to do with it. Pretty much, I'll just use it as for fusion fuel once I'm able to make the fusion reactor um but i've been doing that down here got 16 levels of experience since i logged on just went down there cleared out some of the mods got set up for the episode and then all this experience i've been using the tanks that i had gotten from down here in the lab and using them and filling them up. I made the experience great that I can stand on to pull experience off me into the tanks, filling them up. And I made the experience shower as well to take that experience and be able to pull it back out of the system. I got a button set or 
No, it's not a button. I was going to use a button, but the button turns off. So this is a bunch of the experience that I've gathered. That's quite a lot. I stand on this pressure plate, and it fills up the experience, just drains it through that shower on the me. And come back up here, I can stand on this and drain it out of me. So if I need to later need experience for stuff, I can get it. And I had so much experience, I turned around and made an iron drum, and it's completely full. Oops, I did not mean to throw all that in there. We'll throw some of this stuff in. We got a little bit more iron. Go ahead and throw that one in. Um, I'll reload the Blackstone Glow. As I did do some exploring in here. And... While I'm waiting, um, I did do some exploring. I found some more chests in there. Um, go up here. Um, I took some of the mushrooms that I collected and got the, oh, what's it called? Cytokine, I think it is. Pretty much the chemical that you get from the mushrooms. And you add it to some calonite water and cellulose, I think. Pretty much mm. the stuff you use to make dirt. You add that to it and you make mycelium. So I set that up, put it up here. Put down a couple of these mushrooms to grow mushrooms. Um, I came up here and I had like four mushrooms up here. That all spawned on top of that. Nothing, no, mm. no more of them had spawned. I did shear one of them and made another mm. cow out of it and took the mushrooms off. Um, I've been collecting the mushrooms because one of the quests that I picked up was mm. to collect a lot of mushrooms. Um, also, you see I have several quests already completed. Um, I jumped in here off screen and spent a bunch of these coins that I got and just bought the rest of these with the coins and got that to 100%. I came in here because I had got so much iron from blood that I was able to finish this quest. So we'll get that magnetic, magnetize. So all I need to do is make a simple alloy furnace. And then we also went through here and eliminated some of the mold spawn that have been 20 of them. They're pretty much zombies with a mushroom on their head. Um, I collected 64 of those so I can unlock this new area. The Evermore one wants me to get 200 or 128 mushrooms. So I've been collecting those. And since it showed the piece of mycelium, I figured it wanted me to grow one. Um, this one was to collect 32 mushroom stews. Which I thought I was going to use a lot of the mushrooms. And then I remembered a little fact that I can take a bowl and come over to a mushroom and I get mushroom stew. So I did that to collect all the mushroom or mushroom stew I needed. So that completed that quest. Go ahead and use this. I need how many levels? I say 20. Oh, 11 player levels. Which that'll be easy enough to do. I'll just go down and go down. If I can find the right button. So I need to have 20 levels. So, go on here. Uh, I'm getting my. Turned myself around a bit on accident. And got myself wrapped around my cord. And I took a step off the thing. 
17, 18, 20. So I should be able to activate magnetize. Now I have magnetic or magnets magnetizing even without. All right, so jump up here in the alchemy lab real quick. Oh, I keep doing that. I've been off of the VR headset since I did my last recordings last week. I hadn't gotten back used to it. I um, also made a bunch of sulfur and nitrogen to Siloco bin, or why, however you want to pronounce that. That's why I <coughs> got from the mushrooms. But it still wants me to get 32. I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, other quests. The glowing, collected the glowstone, used to experience level so I can get this totem. And I'll go ahead and click those. So now we should be caught up on all of these experience levels. How much do I need to use that? 500? That's what? 19 levels? Why did I feel like... Oh, magnetize was... Okay. I guess I actually... I just need to be at that level, I guess, to use it. Then it just uses a little bit. It only used 15 of the levels. That's fine. All right. Now... Come back in here and get some more food since I threw my food away on accident. Or not threw it away, but threw it in here somewhere. So yeah, I've gotten a lots of leather. I have like 380 leather right there. Where is all my food? And lots of monster jerky. Alrighty. Now I'll come back in here. So I've been exploring this area some. It's a pain in the butt to get to the area that we need to get to. But we did open up the silver mine, so I'll be able to mine silver in there now. Uh, that's the dead end, yeah. This area, I get lost in here so much. I lit up a bunch of this too, because I had so many mobs spawning. So the area I need to go into, there was some glowstone right here that I had to go by. And then these... Giant blocks of glowstone. They're down here. And then this area just opened up. So inside of here, which I haven't lit up at all. There's a bunch of mobs in here. There's a bunch of silver ore. I'll mine that out at a later point. Probably off camera. That looks like silver. And is that? There's some other stuff in there besides silver, it looks like. I want to say that's nickel. So. And there's this giant crystal. And I guess that's supposed to be what was talking to us in the thing. This is going to be so hard to do in VR. So I got to hit that. No, I got it. Uh, it's a combination of having to jump up here. Uh, no. Jump up here. No, oh, no. I have to jump up. Then jump, hit this glowstone so I can float up. And I'm not going to make that. Okay, I'm going to pause once I can get up there, because this is a pain in the butt to do in the VR. Okay, I got up here to this one. 
I just mined out some to get up here. I'd already collected from that chest. Now, the fun part is I gotta get over there. <clears throat> All right. Got over there. Now I jump up here. Jump on this one. Ah. Oh. It's such a pain. I'm not going to try to do the jump into the glowstone and then float up. But that's what it wants me to do. It wants me to jump up to the glowstone, liquid glowstone, touch it, barely touch it, and then float up the rest of the way. And it's too much of a pain in the butt. i go up here. Oh, God, pause. Okay, I'm back. Um, see if I can get up here real quick. Ah, okay. So I've been up into this area. I haven't been very much further than this. This is an area full of mushroom blocks and stuff. And these are the mushrooms that I was talking about. The spore or whatever they're called in that quest. What were they called? The uh, friggin' mold spawn. That's what these guys are. These are the mold spawn. Oh no. I mean, you got out of that. You're not supposed to be able to get out of that. You're the first one that did. I haven't had any of them get out of here before. This is like the first time one of them actually got out. They're mainly all staying stupid enough and staying in there. Uh, yeah. I've been killing them. That's where I got this bronze armor. They didn't have any of them drop any helmets because they all wear these stupid mushroom things on their heads. So I guess they don't have helmets. Looks like one of them dropped a bronze sword. Oh, get me out of there. Out, out. Okay. I'm back to my stupid swings like that. But they get some bronze boots. Another bronze chest plate, so I can fully repair that one. And they get a bronze sword from them. Um, so, what? No way. How did you jump out of that? You guys haven't been doing that. Can they jump three high? Or did he just do a... I don't know how it got out of there. We'll continue on. Unfortunately... Up here is where I've been running into issues. Because there's a spawner up higher. And I haven't been able to get over here to it. I want to mine this spawner up. Come on. My mind. And there's another spawner over there. A lot of these mushrooms down here. Oh. Another one got out from back here somewhere. It was coming up behind me. Hear him walking around. It's disturbing. I hear all these footsteps. I 
mine out this one here. I could light them up. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Oh god! All right, I want to get my stuff back. I will be back in a little bit. I have to exit out of all of this and jump onto my computer and load back in or the game's going to completely corrupt. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm finally back. I decided we're going to go ahead and end the episode real quick. Because it's been about 20 minutes. Um, came back up here after I got all my stuff back. And it was a pain. But um, more mushrooms have spawned. So I'm going to collect those. Um, I did bring these tanks of blood up here. To collect. And then you put the blood in. These evaporators. And then it takes that blood... Takes a bucket of it and converts the bucket into four of the coagulated. That's where I got a lot of that iron that I had. Because I had a lot of... Blood set aside. I'm surprised this stuff grew here. I thought it only grew in my cylinder. I'm not going to complain. Especially when it gets me closer to the... 64 that I need. So this will get me that. All the blood is used up. Go ahead and mine this tank out. And we can head on down. And connect the tank. Just connect it there. Let it fill up. So, to end off the episode, I figured to do that, click those mushrooms, and we have these chests that I've managed to collect. I figured go ahead and go through them. Um, basic rewards. A chest. More diamond nuggets, and another magic shovel. Uh, I think I finally got nine. Diamond nuggets. Diamond nugget, where are you? Yep, got nine of them. Let's make me another diamond. Okay, uncommon rewards. A magnet. A pressed cobblestone. Gold apples. Sodium. There's compressed cobblestone. I can throw it in here. Uh, let's see. Oh no. <sighs> this is being a pain in the butt again. Every once in a while, something will mess up, and this will completely empty out. And when it empties out completely, the bottom one becomes cobblestone. And... So many stacks. Press cobblestone in that. 15 stacks? There's no way I'm going to be able to get all that out. Oh, because it keeps filling it all. It fills up from this one. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that off camera. Um, Bang. Okay, that's a... Uh, what is this? Holy the heck. What is this? What's the stats on this? Silk touch, lightweight, crude to no. 
I, I don't know what this is. It's some type of hammer. It has silk touch on it. Um, Tinker Tier 2. So that's going to be Electrum Bone and Aluminum and Copper, I think. Well, I'll still use it for something, maybe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Um, I'm going to throw that in there. I didn't mean to throw the sodium in there, but... Back. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and end off the episode mm -hmm. here. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I want to try to fix this thing. That's going to be a pain in the butt to fix. But I'll fix that in between episodes. And when I come back for 16, I'll start 16 already down in there because it's a pain in the butt to do it otherwise. So... I'll just do it that way. Uh, I gotta mine this one out. So yeah, I wanna go ahead and try to fix these. And I'll be back once I get it all fixed and everything. So I have to pull everything out of this one and throw in the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.